Hi again, so we have reached the following exercise on series value. So we need to write a program that takes an integer n. So the user should enter n and displays the value of u n, respecting that u1 is equal to 1 and u n is equal to the sum from i equal 1 to n minus 1, uh, u of i over u i uh, minus 1 factorial. So uh, if you followed me in the Fibonacci series, so we, where we had uh, where we have two to uh, a term that is equal to the sum of the two previous terms. So here we have uh, a term that is equal to the sum of all its previous uh, terms. So uh, let's uh, move here and uh, take small example. So we will see that uh, whenever we are summing, so it's, it's uh, the same as we have done in uh, Fibonacci. So. We have u of 1 is, is equal to 1, and we have u of n is equal sum 1 minus 1 ui over i minus 1. So let's say I have the term uh, un minus 1. So un minus 1 is equal sum i minus 1 to n minus 2 of ui over i minus 1. So this is just the uh, uh, Factorial the term of u n minus one. So how can we write u n minus u n minus one in terms of uh, u n in terms of u n minus one? So u n is equal. So let's break this one for n equal to n minus one. So we have sum of i one to n minus two u i over i minus one, and we have the term for n equal uh, for i equal n minus one. So we'll have u n minus 1 over so i would be equal to n minus 1 minus 1 factorial plus so we have this term this is the newly term and we will add the value of u n minus 1 so u n would be equal this term over n minus 1 factorial plus the term which is u n minus 2 this is the, the, the same term u n minus 2 so it's the same as as uh, Fibonacci however here we have just to divide the term by n minus 1 factorial and again when doing the factorial I will not calculate at each time the factorial because it's easy because I have already calculated for example n minus 2 factorial I just need just to multiply it with uh, n minus 1 and this is it so let's start the the program so uh, we need uh, n so I'll keep this from the previous exercise so we need to enter n the term and let's see what we need here so we need n we need uh, loops we need the value of the factorial so let's say that factorial it will stay uh, equal uh, its factorial so I will declare it as double it's better and factorial will start because it's a multiplication will start from 1 I will need also the two terms so and since they will be uh, uh, they will grow up and they, I will multiply with factorial and so they will should be double and there's division 2 so it's better to declare them as double so this is for the starting so then we need to uh, loop so uh, we start from i equal to, to so, so how many the n terms so I know that u1 is equal to 1 so I can write that and as long as long as we go so you have here u1 is equal to 1 and we need the second term let's call it so it's u2 so for now it's equal to 0 so we, we don't care about this now so and then we need to loop so we loop from 2 till we reach the term n so for i equal to 2 i less than equal to n i plus plus so this is to calculate the term u of n so at each iteration as we have seen here i need to uh, add to the u2 the value of u1 and i will divide it by factorial so what i will do is that u2 i will add to u2 so for that i have initialized it to zero it's u1 over factorial so let's check it uh, with the uh, first uh, first term. So we are here. Let's say I want to calculate u2. u2 is equal to sum from i equal 1 to 1 of ui over i minus 1 factorial. So we have just i equal to 1. So it's equal u1 to over 1 
minus 1 factorial it's u1 over 0 factorial it's u1 over 1 so this is right for now and what I should do with the factorial so at the second iteration when I will calculate that I need to multiply it with i minus 1 I will do the third term and of course u1 would be equal to u2 in order to relaunch the calculation so let me erase here I will keep just I cannot keep this so let's erase it and re take this so it's not that visible so it's u1 and un is equal to sum n minus 1 ui over u minus 1 factor so we have calculated u1 is equal to 1 u2 is equal to u1 over uh, uh, zero factorial because you have uh, i equal to one so it's equal to u1 and then you have u3 so u3 is equal to sum from one to two ui over i minus one factorial so for i equal to one it's u1 over zero factorial it's the oldest value of u2 so we have put it now in u1 plus u2 over one factorial so this one was already calculated so this is why we have the plus here so we are already adding to the value of u of the older value so u2 is the answer and then in u2 i need to the 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 the, the next iteration i need to divide it by one factorial so first factorial was equal to uh, zero now for i equal to two i need to calculate i minus one so here it's multiplication equal so i need to factorial the number the number so for i equal to 2 i would add to the factorial one factorial so i have factorial was equal to 1 at the beginning and then i need to multiply it also by 1 which is equal to i minus 1 at the second iteration i will multiply this value by 2 at the third iteration i will multiply it by 3 and so on so as long as we go we will do that so we'll do, we are doing the summation we are calculating the stuff so it's a bit difficult here so if you understand me at first in the summation the summation goes here so i'm always adding the, the previously calculated value and i will divide it with the factorial the the the, the term the oldest term i will divide it with the factorial so uh, this is for the first part of the of the program so let's run it so i have n here so it's capital n so we will try one, two, three, four. I didn't print f, so let's stop it and print f the uh, u value. So print f. U percentage t is equal percentage point four l f backslash n n and u uh, one. So at the end, U1 and U2 are the same. And let's run. So let's say U2. So it's equal to 1. U3. It's 2. 4. So you can try this at home. So yes. So we are adding and we are dividing. So the values, maybe they are correct. So... Uh, for the second part, we need to write the program that asks the user to enter an integer a and prints the series from one, from u1 to u8. So we have here printed just the value of uh, un. So if I want to print all the value from u1 to un, I just need to place the printf inside the loop. So let's run it. And let's say 100. So the program will print us the values from u1 to u100. So this was the exercise. So here it's not n. So we'll print i in order to have ui, ui, u0, u1, u2, u3. So yes. And as you see, the series the converges to the number 3.68, 22. So this was the solution for the exercise, so if you have any questions, do not hesitate to drop me a message. And again, thanks for watching.